All right, what is going on, everybody? Darcy Zaps here, back with another Grand Theft Auto video. And as you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a 100% AFK survival in the survival creator for GTA Online. All right, now I know a lot of people have already made a video on this, but they're using a method that is not always going to work. So I went ahead and I found out a method that is much quicker to build, much more efficient when you do it and just overall it just works so much fucking better all right so let me show you what people normally would suggest you do in their videos all right as you see here i have five spawn points surrounded by the machinery here this particular uh machinery piece has the end of it that has the stun gun effect and the idea is when they spawn they walk into it and instantly die from the shock however the npcs do not always walk into them which means it can never be a 100% AFK survival. You will occasionally have to kill one on your own. So instead, I found a much, much simpler and better way. Let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. All you have to do is come over to any sort of part of the ocean and near the land here. I want to go ahead and chose this little area by the docks uh, to demonstrate this. But what you want to go ahead and do is come to a body of water Put your title and your placement and all that and come over to any spawn, enemy spawn points and what you want to do is you want to take the camera underwater with the uh with the spawn point here until you find some flat areas and just start placing them down into the bottom of the ocean so i'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick all right guys so once you have these placed down in the bottom what this will do is during the survival they will spawn at the bottom of the ocean. They will just randomly die. They just randomly fucking drown. All right, and if you actually come down here to the marker that I just placed, as you see right here, this guy is slumped over and dead. All right, so the next thing you want to do is go ahead and come over to the survival configuration. You want to go to land vehicles. You want to disable all waves. You want to go to air vehicles, and you want to disable that as well. As far as heavy units, heavy units I would suggest staying off because if you set every round to be the maximum intensity and the maximum difficulty to the characters since, you know, they won't be fighting back anyways, it's already going to pay about 65000 for each job that you create like this. Or, but if you add heavy units, it will add about 10k to the job. However, it will make the survival literally take twice as long because fucking heavy units take like two to three times longer to die because they have more health. Even in the water, they will take longer to die. So I honestly suggest, personally, you keep the heavy units off. However, you can add those from the extra tank pen if you want. I just think it's better to keep it off and to make multiple survivors like this and put them in the playlist to have, you know, the better time to money ratio. But with that being said, though, let me go ahead and test and show you what I mean by how the spawns work here. They may actually try to come and swim up the ladders here but I'll show you how to uh, fix that here in a minute. So as you see, they're spawning and dying pretty fucking quickly. As you see, right, like I just said, some will come up to the ladder and try to come up and kill you, like these two are right here. So there's a very, very simple and obvious way to fix that. All you really have to do to fix that is go into your props and find a big, just little race piece to put in front of the ladders. And then instead, they will come up from the ladder, not be able to climb it, and just die in the water anyways. Alright guys, so as you see here, I use the large little front pieces here. Just the uh, normal little walls and barriers here. I use this one for the back and then I use a smaller one for the uh, sides here so they can't go around. But uh, that's pretty much how you fix it. It's pretty obvious that if they want to come up the ladder, you just fucking block it. Alright, so let's see how it plays out now. Alright, as you see, the ladders are all blocked by the uh, props here. And now what will happen is they will spawn. Most of them will die. A few of them will still try to swim over to the ladder, but they will not be able to get up. As you see right here, one's doing it right now. And then they're unable to do shit. And then they eventually die. Finally, you want to come to uh, wave configuration. You want to set it to 20 waves to be the maximum waves. Again, if you do what I'm about to show you here, it will go up to about 65,000 per survival you create like this. So 20 waves. You want to go wave configuration, you want to make sure that every single one is set to maximum intensity and to the maximum stages and the maximum difficulty so that the pay will be the max pay. 
Alright, so now you can put down weapons if you really want to. There's really no point if you're planning to go full to AFK, but if you're going to go like semi-AFK like I sometimes do when I'm watching Netflix and letting it run, you can put weapons down so you don't have to pay for any ammo that you do spend. Okay, right, so here's another example. This is why I fully built a few days ago. The spawn points on the bridge, and as you see, I put some decoration around that you don't really have to have. But um, the main other thing I want to point out is something I forgot to mention earlier, is if you want to take a, uh, a place where you can like have a rubber band around your controller without having to worry about your character walking out of bounds while you do so. I suggest putting one of these giant little buoy platforms out in the water and just like swim out and stand on there when you do the AFK survival. That or just block yourself in with uh, whatever you can by your own spawn point. But uh, yeah. So as you see here, I've got another one set up here. I've got four, five different uh, spawns below here. Uh, but the AF uh, the AK is out to the side here. All right, guys. So we are back in UT Online, playing the survival for real now. And this is what it looks like when they spawn down below. They pretty much just spawn there. They swim around in circles like a school of fish. And after about 10 to 20 seconds, they just simply drown. So all you really have to do is let them do that and uh, either sit up on the land AFK, you can come in the water and go AFK, or you can go up on the barges here. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead to the end with the magic power of editing. That took about like 30 minutes for that entire thing to go through. But as you see here, we got about 60,000. Sometimes a little more, sometimes it's a little less. Anyways guys, that's pretty much all there is to it. You just go in the creator, you put the spawn points on the water, you block off any way that the NPCs can get back on the land and you set the waves to the maximum intensity, difficulty, and 20 waves. That's all you really have to do. It's not hard at all. You can make several of these in a matter of no time, put them in the playlist, and throw them on when you're watching Netflix, or in my case, when you're editing videos. I'm actually going to be playing this playlist as I edit this video, so it's pretty useful. It's definitely not the best way to make money in the game, but it is one of the better ways if you want to go completely AFK and still make some dough. With all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope this became useful for you guys. Um, it is a lot better method than what most people are putting out there. So leave a like down below for that. Subscribe if you're new to see more content like this. I post GTA and Call of Duty uh, at least once a week. So yeah, hit the bell down below as well so you don't miss any more uploads from the channel. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching again, and I hope you guys have a metal, metal day. I'll see you in the next one.